Open item 11E, litigation report, Senior Deputy Attorney General, David Newton. Mr. Newton, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the litigation report was included in your packets, and I'd be happy to answer any questions should you have it. Questions for Mr. Newton? Okay. Seeing none, we will close item 11E, which wraps up our informational reports and brings us to item number 12, public comment period. Persons wishing to speak are requested to complete a speaker's card and present it to the recording secretary. No action can be taken by the commission at this time. Any item requiring commission action may be scheduled on future commission agenda. Public comment, Nelco. That's all right, come on up, Megan. Um, good after, afternoon, Chairman and Commissioner members. My name is Megan Brown, and I'm here, I uh, live here in Elko County. I'm here today representing myself, and the comments are, are my own. I have not attended many commission meetings. However, I've always paid attention to the activities of the commission and the department. I want to take a few minutes to put on record my appreciation of the leadership of Chairman Drew. I met, chair, the chair, met Chairman Drew excuse me, before I moved to Nevada and saw his dedication to wildlife resources and the importance of the process. Over the past th three years, you, Mr. Chairman, have demonstrated your leadership, fairness, and respect of the process. For years, the Commission has dealt with many complex and controversial issues, and you have never shied away from following a tradition. Though you and I have not always agreed on many issues, <laughs> and management activities taken by the department or the commission, you have always wanted to have a dialogue and, be res and have one in a respectful way um, so that I can better understand your decision process and you allow me to share mine. I have seen you carry out the same quality in your chairmanship. You have demonstrated one of the best qualities um, that I find in a leadership person and that is respect. No matter what the issue is, your personal opinion, you allow others to share their thoughts and opinions, and I feel that although you have a strong conviction for what you feel wildlife management should be in Nevada, you understand the value of compromise. I'm probably running out of time, but again, I want to say from a citizen who is passionate and dedicated to the state of Nevada, I want to thank you for your leadership, your inclusion, including the cabs, respect, compromise, conviction, and not straying away from controversy. However, before I get off my soapbox, there is somebody else I'd like to thank. And that is Commissioner Morai. Commissioner Morai, as a resident of Elko County and a supporter of agriculture, I feel you've done an outstanding job and have taken your responsibility very seriously. And you have represented us very well. I thank you for all your hard work in helping to make sure that ag was represented well on this commission. And I know it's not always easy, but you stepped up to the challenge, and I appreciate that. So with that, Mr. Chairman, thank you for letting me make comments. Thank you. Next public comment, Nelco. Seeing none, public comment in Reno. No comment in Reno. Thank you. And Las Vegas. Yes, Chairman, we have comment. I'm Chairman Drew and Commissioners, for the record, Jana Wright, a resident of Clark County. Thank you for the video conferencing that allows us unable to travel to participate in the commission meeting. It is very much appreciated. I would like to voice my concern on the role of CAB members at the commission meetings. NRS 501.303 says, the chair or vice chair or member of the board appointed by them, A, shall attend the meetings of the commission and B, are entitled to receive such travel and per diem expenses as are allowed by law. We know rarely, if ever, are 17 counties represented at the commission meetings. Does the commission or the department inform the chairman of the various county commissions the lack of participation of their cabs as required by NRS? I object to CAB members appearing at the commission meetings representing their respective counties being allowed to remove their CAB hats and address the commission as a public person, especially if being reimbursed by the department for attending these meetings as the CAB representative. You are either attending on behalf of your CAB or you are attending the meeting on your own dime as a member of the public. 
I also object to the six-minute rule for groups to speak before the commission. Nowhere, to my knowledge, is groups defined. Is it a 501c3 in good standing with the Secretary of State, or may anyone stand and say they represent a group? Perhaps leveling the playing field by limiting comment to three minutes for all peoples would clarify this gray area. I ask that you please take my comments under advisement. And lastly, I would be, it would be nice if the director's activity report was posted as agenda backup material either before or after his presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Additional comments in Las Vegas? Mr. Chair, this is uh, Stephanie Myers from Lee Canyon, Las Vegas. Um, although a lot of people don't know that, uh, that these commission meetings are video conferenced, uh, I would like to thank the department and the commission for allowing the video conferencing, at least between North and South, to continue. So I thank you very much for the opportunity for the public to, to express their views. Thank you. Okay. So that's everyone. That's it. Thank you. So what we'll do is close into item number 12. Um, it's 2.15, so I think what I'll do is introduce the tour and then we'll talk logistics. So um, basically what we're going to do is uh, start our field tour at the close of agenda item 12. It is an informational tour. The commission will tour Jigs Reservoir area. Short informational presentations will be made at several sites, but no action will be taken by the commission. The public is invited to participate, but will be required to provide their own transportation. The group will depart from the meeting location here. Um, following completion of the tour, the commission will be in recess until Saturday, June 25th, 2016 at 9 a.m. So it's 2, uh, 2 15. I think what we'll do is give everyone about an hour to grab uh, some quick lunch before we head out of town. Um, and I think what we'll do is for those who know where they're going uh, and can make it to Zanino Reservoir, which is our first stop, you're certainly um, free to meet us there. For everyone else, I think what we'll do is meet at the intersection um, over the hill in Spring Creek and convoy from there. So kind of in an effort to keep everyone together and rather than having to come back here. So Director Wasley, if you could kind of give everyone um, some directions on the best place to meet, that would be helpful. If, uh, if, if there's two roads that cross the Humboldt River, uh, 12th Street would probably be the, the best one to take. 12th Street uh, intersects into Memorial Highway, so you'll cross the Humboldt River on 12th Street, encounter a stoplight, stoplight will turn left on the Memorial Highway, um, it'll meander up through some pinion juniper past the hospital. It'll crest uh, the Moyle Summit, and you'll see the snow-covered rubies out in front of you. Uh, and as you start to descend, you'll come to the one and only stoplight. And at that stoplight, that's the intersection of the Moyle Highway and Jigs Highway. And there'll be a scoreboard, a bar and grill, casino, and a Sinclair gas station on the left-hand side, the north side of the road at that stoplight. Uh, there's a large area that we could probably meet, um, consolidate vehicles between that scoreboard restaurant and that Sinclair gas station, and then depart from there, and we'll go due south down Jigs Highway. So uh, you want to plan on departing from that location at 3.30. That will give 10 minutes. If you want an hour plus 10 minutes to get there, we could depart there from 3.30. And we'll just be 20 minutes or so down the road from there to get to the, the area. Works for me. So we'll be those... at the Sinclair station at the intersection of Memorial Highway and Jigs Highway. Correct. Right. Any questions on that? All right. Hopefully, we see most of you on the tour. For those of you who aren't participating, hopefully, we see you tomorrow morning.